Hello beautiful faces this is your notorious Nangai back with another video So this video is going to be a very short video compared to my other videos but trust me girls this is going to be very useful especially in this pandemic Are you that kind of a person who waits for the parlor to open No girls you don't have to So today we are going to remove our facial hair like this this <laughs> and most importantly this it's been so long since i've done this so let's go girls so first let me take you through the items which i'm going to use in this video so this is a facial hair remover knife or a razor which i got from miniso and i'm going to use this waxing strips to do my eyebrows and take a double cleansing oil and this is a tweezer which is important and a scissors that's it shall you do it watch me first things first wash your face dab your towel on your face don't wipe it and put on a bun which is comfortable super comfortable okay <laughs> Also make sure your hands are clean. Okay, done. So before going in with the razor, I'm going to apply some double cleansing oil. You can use aloe vera gel or your gel-based face wash, anything for that matters. And now I'm going to get the hell out of there. So I usually avoid this part of the hair. Can you see? Yes. So lift the skin up and gently go in with a knife. Okay? So gentle, be gentle, please. Okay? It's your skin and of it you need it. So do not place the knife vertical to your skin, okay? Place it perpendicular to your skin and just go gentle. That's a lot of hair, but I can already feel it so smooth. Ow. <laughs> and yes, I do not cover the entire neck. I just go partially and uh, I repeat the same process to the entire face. And yeah, lifting your skin up is very important so by lifting your skin you are just going to prevent your skin from accidental cuts which might happen by using this that's why i'm always mentioning highlighting the point be gentle so about the razor you can use it like 3 4 times recommended or you can use it until you feel it's safe it should not contain any rust please check that so next time using this wet sorry wheat <laughs> waxing strips i'm cutting that into pieces before going in with that i'm using the spoolie to brush up my eyebrows and now you can figure out the extras i'm just going to remove my extras so please be careful while you're placing this strips because just make sure you are placing it on the unwanted hair the extra hair you should not end up losing your eyebrows now i'm going to focus on my upper lips I do the same process guys I just cut them into pieces stick them on leave it for some time and I make sure that it is sticked on well now get ready for the moment ouch it's not that painful I'm just being dramatic so since we are just removing the eyebrows there is no way for the strip to be filled with hair so I'm using the same patch for the next set of my hair removing process and yeah I use the same strip twice that's how it works now the strip is almost loaded with the hair so for the next step i'm going to be using this tweezer just to pull out the hair which is not pulled out by the strips because definitely you will have some extra still next i'm going to use the scissors i suggest you to go with the smaller scissors to be precise this process is just for shortening your hair length and that's it guys just go wash your face come back why do you need a parlor if you can get this result at home so now i'm taking some aloe vera gel which is from born organics and uh, i'm just adding some few drops of beautifying oil which is nothing but argan oil from vilva it's really good just check it out it's deeply moisturizing and yeah after all this process i think my skin definitely deserves some calmness and It's just that your skin deserves some healing after using all the knives, razors, and 
waxing strips that's it okay so give that to your skin it dissolves it and you can do this routine for one to two times a month which is completely depending on your hair growth so yes guys i hope you find this useful like share and comment do not forget to subscribe bye bye have a fantabulous day